hello guys welcome back to our channel welcome to our kitchen we are preparing Yay! soup so this is huge badge cooking with us guys we are making three different kind of soup and yeah, don't, stew. Don't touch that. <laughs> so Abby is the one making the stew so I'm the one cooking the soup this is my chef chef say hi uh, where's my cup <laughs> where's my cup <laughs> my chef so he's not preparing the stew. So inside, so this is for our stew, and we have someone entertaining us here with be your bayo. what are you saying? Look at I sosa. I sosa say hi. Hi. <laughs> Nosa say hi. Say hi. 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 Say hello. Say hi. 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 Say hello. 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 <laughs> Sorry, with the play. So the full family is in the kitchen. We all are cooking. Eh, what are you saying, baby? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> So guys, we are making three different kind of soup. We are making ogbolon soup, ogbono soup, and um, um, peanuts butter soup, which is granite soup. And we are also making a, a black soup, pepper soup. So yeah, like I mix all the leaves together, like the spinach and uh, the bitter leaf, the oziza leaf, and uh, the... Um, uh, Saint leaf, yeah, I miss those ones together. Then, the one doing the blending and all the stuff, the wet, and the one cooking the soup. So, guys, the first one I'll be doing is just my granite soup. So, I don't want to waste rubber, so I just decide to <laughs> put the uh, blended granites or peanuts to the pot and just add the meat water. And later I'll be pouring the meat inside. So the meat, I just boil the meat together. Then I split them like take each each part that I'm going to use for each soup in on the bowl. So that's why I said I don't need too much bowl to be dirty while I'm cooking. Then I'll be adding my bitter leaf to eat. I'll be just adding little bitter leaf to eat so that um as the soup will boil. So the leave will also be cooked you know it's dried it's not a fresh one so it's a dried one then i'll be adding my magin which is my seasoning cube and the salt and i'm just adding little salt to this uh uh granite and my palm oil the reason i had little salt to it because it's a cooked granite already so they have already used salt to prepare it so i don't want to like add more salt to it so that's why i just had a pinch of salt to eat and i tested it it was really good and I had my crayfish and my dry pepper mm -hmm. if you want to use more ingredients or more spices or pepper you can also use that anytime you want to cook it so i'm just um adding little pepper because of my kids uh they don't eat pepper that much so once i'm done cooking the um granites then now the next one is the uh, bitter leaf and the spinach pepper soup. I'm just preparing it as pepper soup. Just be doing the same thing because I pour the leaf, the blended leaf to that pot. Then just pour the meat inside, stir everything together. Just do it fast, fast, fast and leave. So the reason why we are preparing uh, all those food because we don't know when baby will arrive. So we're just cooking a lot of food in the freezer in case if it arrives so we will have a lot of food in the house so i will not be thinking of i've not cooked there's no food or once i'm back from the hospital then i'll start cooking no so i'm just trying to have a lot of food in the house before baby arrive so guys if you are still watching to this time you have not subscribed to our growing youtube channel 
please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up thank you and keep watching So guys, I will be making my obono. So I just put my oil in the pot for it to hot, like to heat. Then I will be pouring my obono to it and adding my uh, ingredients, my things I will be adding to it. So I've already shown a recipe for this obono. You can also go to my uh, channel to uh, watch the video. The video is in my channel there. So this one I will be doing the uh, frying ogbono. So I have like different way that I used to cook my ogbono. Like I have three ways I used to cook my ogbono. Either I fry it like this, or I just pour it while boiling the meat, or I just uh, put the the ogbono in the pan, in the sorry in the plate and add palm oil. Or in the uh, uh, cellophane, or <laughs> yeah, cellophane, or call it cellophane or plastic paper, then just add it to the pot while boiling the meat so that the ogbono will melt. So that's why I have three ways of cooking my ogbono. So you can also go to my video to see them. So guys, I'm about to huff. This is my ogbono. Oh, see this. This is my pizza leaf pepper soup. Pizza leaf sandwich. No, we we call this. Pizza leaf spinach, oziza, all the leaves are there. I just use it to make the pepper soup. And this is my peanut soup. And this is my ogbono. It will soon be ready. Ogbono soup. So this is the three soup I will be cooking. So why Obi will be preparing stew with this big pot because we'll be making large quantity of stew. So we want to serve the streets. <laughs> you want waiting? I want to serve the streets. No streets. I want to cook up for food. <laughs> So guys, we could not uh, finish the cooking the day we cook the soup. The next day, Obi prepared the stew because it was really late. We really need to go to bed and put the kids to sleep because the next day we'll be going to school. So when we drop them in school, we come back home. Then Obi start preparing the stew. So this is his way. I was not there when he was preparing everything. So I was in my bible study and he was preparing it in his own way so guys i really enjoy him cooking stew so you you must have seen some of our videos where he always prepares stew because it still tastes really nice like all those 
old woman still <laughs> i don't know how to put the word if you like you have grandmother like the way they prepare their stew is kind of different from the way you will prepare your own like anyway any time it prepares stew like guys i don't really eat stew and rice that much i don't really like it i prefer jollof rice but anytime obi makes stew i always eat rice i always eat rice with it or use it to eat bread or anything i feel like using it to eat because it always tastes delicious so this is his own way of cooking it and he's just adding all the ingredients to it <laughs> Wow, guys, Obi is done preparing the stew when I was in my study. I've been schooling. So I was receiving my Bible study. Obi finished cooking. And we are going to prepare rice. <laughs> you always do this. What do you do with your stand? Do I again? It will put salt in the water and taste it before we cook the rice. It's good. It's a good cook. I'm not one of Boa. Like, look at my stew. Look at this stew. Stew, 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 stew. Stew, stew, stew. So, guys, the next step for me now is to dish everything like the stew the soup so first of all i'll just dish in the bowl that i'm going to put in the fridge then later on i'll be dishing uh, the stew and the soup on the cellophane or a plastic bag in our nigeria pg we call it cellophane so i'll dish it in the plastic bag and put those ones that i dish in the plastic bag to the freezer so that is how i'm going to do everything then I will also um, wash the plates and clean the kitchen. Then we'll be done for that day. So guys, this is my granite, my Ogbono, this is my Italy soup, pepper soup, so this is the stew, the stew, we still have extra one here, we still have extra one here, and this is our granite soup and one Ogbono, then stew. And my bitter leaf that I tied. So these are all my soup. And this is my rice. With it from inside. Okay. 
Okay. So guys, I will be organizing everything, putting the, the ones I will put in the freezer and put the ones I will put in the fridge in the fridge too. So <laughs> I will be cleaning. And guys, thank you so much for watching and subscribing to my channel. For those of my old subscribers that also come around and watch my video, thank you so much. And for those of my uh, new subscriber or my new viewers, thank you so much guys for watching and may god bless you please before you go make sure you subscribe and also give this video a thumbs up you know try and encourage me by giving the video a thumbs up and also leave a comment in the comment section so this is just me and i'll be preparing for the arrival of our baby so we have a uh two boys already as you can see you saw them in the beginning of the video so we are expecting our third son so we are just trying to make our uh, our preparation for him so it will not be stressful for the both of us when the baby will arrive so we also have time for the other toddlers that are at home not always busy 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 so like guys, I will also cook more food and add to the fridge because this will not be enough. I'm just trying to be doing it gradually, gradually before the time, be, before the big day. So I just prepared this one. I'm already tired. I just want to sit down. But if I sit down, you know the next thing, I will feel like sleeping, not standing up from the floor. So I'm just trying my best to keep everything done. Then once I relax, I'll be done for that day. So enough of the talk, guys. See you in our next video. Bye.